Hey everyone, I'm going to show you two different ways to make little TV scan lines in Photoshop. It's an effect that makes an image look like it's being projected on a old television screen, but for movies and storytelling and stuff, it's an effect that, well, creates the illusion that something is on a television screen, even though televisions are much better nowadays. So. The first one is more of a texture that you can use for comics and stuff in case you need to ever distort the scan lines. I open a new document, um, 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters. It's better if it's completely square. 300 pixels per inch. A high resolution is desired so that you can distort it without too much quality loss. Um, RGB color and that's good. Okay, so the filters I'm going to be using will use the foreground and background colors here. Um, just make sure one of the colors is black. The other color can be whatever color you want the scan lines to be. I chose a nice blue here. Uh, but frankly it can be any color as long as it's saturated like really full. Um, so I go to filter, render clouds, and I get some clouds. I can do it again if I don't like those clouds. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. And then I go to filter, sketch, halftone pattern. Um, now you can either choose, well you can just play around with the settings here. Um, usually I'll put the size up to about 5, um, leave the contrast at either 10 or 20. Um, it's just the higher the contrast the more your clouds are going to disappear. And I have line here for the pattern type. If I choose dot well, it's like a little comic book effect. And circle is that kind of effect. But we need line for this. Um, so yeah, that looks pretty good. I do that, and I get that effect. Now um, I can open up an image. Uh, let's see. I'll do that one. Um, now I'm just dragging this across into my other window. Uh, by the way, I press this thing. I'm on Photoshop CS4. Um, this little window button allows me to rearrange my documents into, well, see both of them at once, see lots of them at once, depending on how many Photoshop files I have open and I just drop it in here and yes you can see it's really big because it's high res so I can shrink it down this will make the scan lines thinner which is why we made the lines 5 in the first place Uh, yeah, that's probably good enough. And I set this layers mode to overlay. Or I set it to screen. No, that looks better. Screen gets rid of all the black. And I'm left with that kind of effect. Now usually in a comic you're probably will only have to cover a very small space with this effect so the clouds won't be as noticeable. But yeah, it provides a pretty good little effect. The next method of making TV scan lines, it uses layer styles. So I'll just apply the style here. This is a preset 
layer style, but this one you can't distort or do anything with. It's just to cover your images with scan lines. I open up blending options here. I've put a color overlay set to linear dodge and opacity of 10%. This is the color of your scan lines, which is blue. Um, so if I turn it on and off, you can see that. Uh, now the most important part is the pattern overlay. I've set it to overlay 30% opacity and 300% scale. And what this pattern is, is pretty much, um, I'll set this to one pixel by two pixels. And 72. I made, to get the pattern here, I pretty much just create this one pixel by two pixel document and colour half of it with a black line. Then just go to select all, edit, define pattern, and that creates the little stripe pattern. And when you put it into your blending options, um, you have to save the pattern and everything first. It comes up there. Um, when you save the pattern, it, you have to put it into a file and then load it in here. Load patterns. Um, yeah, I'm just not bothering with that because I've already got it here. Um, yeah, and you can save that as a style, and that works out pretty well. Personally, I think this looks a bit better than the other way, but I can't find a way to make this a distortable texture without it looking really, really bad. So I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you later when I think of another tutorial.